Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. So, uh, I was, I was gonna just like, you know, not do any more videos, you know, we've been talking about this trailer and stuff all day, there's a lot more I can get to over the next couple of days, you know, I can push it off for, for whatever when, but I, I just finished up a stream on Twitch, which first of all, you definitely should go follow me on Twitch if you haven't yet, there's a lot of really fun discussions there, uh, yeah, really cool stuff, I mean, we broke down the trailer there just, just like pretty recently, so yeah, a lot of fun, but I, uh, you know, during the stream, somebody pointed out to me a, a theory out there, I guess that's on Twitter that I just, as soon as I saw it, I was like, whoa. And it just, it, it just sort of stuck in my head now. And I, I'm actually really wondering, like, could we be seeing the introduction of the new frontier on The Walking Dead? It, it's, uh, it, it sounds a little crazy. I know it sounds really insane, but I do wonder because you get this shot here of these two characters. So the one on the left obviously is uh ava here and the one on the right it was from the new trailer we don't know what her name is she was she's unnamed right now so i'm actually wondering is are we seeing something here is there something going on so yeah shout out to to derek uh at the walking dead e castro on, on twitter i'll leave a link to his uh his twitter down below definitely go give him a follow this is such a great idea here i mean this is uh i'm actually wondering i mean you know like, like i obviously i played all four games but like i didn't catch this right away this is definitely really crazy that you caught this so yeah let's get into this so obviously before we go any further make sure to be a subscriber if you do want more walking dead content like this and also if you want to join the live streams and stuff like that uh definitely go do so on twitch we just broke down the trailer we talked about it for a whole hour over an hour we went shot by shot it was so much fun to do that and talk with you guys it was just kind of cool to get give all my thoughts out there I know the trailer is like, a, like two minutes long, but it literally took an hour to, to go through. <laughs> we went through everything frame by frame. I gave all my theories and I, I want to kind of continue doing that for all the rest of the trailers. So I think, you know, every Sunday we're definitely going to do that. We'll do a whole trailer breakdown session. We'll spend an hour or two just talking about The Walking Dead and stuff. I also want to be playing Dying Light 2 coming up. You know, that's that, that game I'm actually really excited for. We're going to be doing a bunch of other gaming throughout or gaming things throughout the week. So I'm going to come up with like, different sessions different gaming ideas or segments not sessions and uh i think it could be a lot of fun i think this twitch thing could be something completely new that i do that could actually like honestly like what i did today was a lot of fun i actually had so much uh fun doing that so definitely if you haven't followed me on twitch yet i hope to see you guys there and obviously there's some merch are you interested in merch well i got some merch and uh yeah if you're interested in supporting the channel the, the links are down below for it but let, let's get into this here so Again, I came across this thing here on Twitter, and um, I mean, we have this this new character, this this woman who is a part of an unnamed group. Uh, we have no idea what's going on, but Angela King did say that we are going to run into a new group, right? Like a lot of the a lot of like the ideas here could be like, well, th this person is just a random other character. Angela King actually says here, she said last year, I believe, she said that like, are we gonna? First of all, she was asked like, are we gonna meet, meet any new characters, groups, or communities? Blah blah blah. And then she says, I don't want to spoil it because it would definitely be spoilery, but there will be another group that surprises our people. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's going it, to it's interesting. And I really wonder, could this be the new frontier? You know, the, the, the community that was in the Telltale's Walking Dead games. I mean, maybe I should even stream this. Maybe I should like stream the games again, at least episode three, because that's where this, uh, or season three, right? Because that's where this uh, takes place. But I do wonder if this character is actually that character, because they look so similar. You know, it's not even just like their hairstyle or anything like that. It's just the overall look, you know, like Ava has like this scarf sort of thing that she's always wore. And then you look at this new character, kind of a very similar thing. You have all those necklaces and stuff. It's the same vibe. They give you the same vibe, right? And like Angela King did say that we're going to meet a new group that's going to surprise our characters. It makes sense that this could be the group. And, and I mean, could you imagine if they actually introduced the new frontier? Because that opens the door to all of that story, right? Everything from the Telltale games. I know there's a bunch of like like legal issues with that. I know like with who owns what, blah, blah, blah. But it's possible AMC has worked out a deal behind the scenes. We have no idea, right? Because like I know that I believe Skybound made a deal and like saved Telltale games towards the end of season four. Because if you remember in season four, it got postponed for a while, right? And I believe they came in, they they sort of saved them, and they they finished those last couple of episodes or, or season or no episodes. And so it's possible maybe Skybound owns the rights, and then AMC made a deal with Skybound, just like they kind of originally did before, right? With with the Walking Dead comic. So it's possible. I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing that out there. I don't know if that's fact or anything. So don't take my word for it. But I I'm wondering, right? And so th this is interesting because this could be setting up a lot. I mean, could you imagine if the new frontier 
was actually going to be a group that appears here. And then we would get other spinoffs in which maybe we could see Clementine show up in, in the Walking Dead universe. Like I, you know, the Walking Dead is ending this year and, and AMC is committed to this f- franchise. The AMC boss said recently that like they're doubling down on this, right? Like I'm paraphrasing, but they're, they're doubling down on the Walking Dead. You know, this is their their big franchise. They want to make this thing grow. And I think they definitely can, because obviously there's millions and millions of people who still watch, who who still care about this. And uh, yeah, I think they could easily grow this into something bigger. And so if The Walking Dead is ending this year, well, I mean, the one thing that you can do to get older fans to come in, and not even just older fans, but a lot of the, like, there's a lot of Walking Dead fans who are just a fan of the games, who literally just played the Telltale games. This could be a part of that. You know, you can get a lot of those fans in here. And I, I think it would be pretty insane if you did that, right? So I do wonder if this is what they're trying to set up here. And so maybe we have the new frontier. Like we talked about that in the stream. You know, it seems like Negan might be, he might choose to leave from Alexandria. So what if he chooses to be a part of like the new frontier, right? Or something. But obviously at some point he'll end up back at the Commonwealth. But there could be this little side story here that basically sets up a new spinoff. I think it's it's totally possible. And I mean, remember that new spinoff isn't going to be on the new frontier. Eventually we would we would get to that point, right? Where we could see other characters. So like what if in the story Negan joins the the new frontier? Imagine we get an actual like Clementine story and obviously they would have to rework a lot of things there because there's a lot of stuff in that story in terms of like going to Herschel's farm, running I guess they could run into Jesus later. That's also possible because you could do that on Tales of the Walking Dead too. So you can get that actor to come back, but you know, there's a lot of things here where I think that you could have Clementine, uh, what's his name, Javier, have I can't say his name, but like that character, have them in the story here, and then we meet the new frontier. We might see Ava here if that's what her name is. If it's Ava, I think that would be crazy. And then you know, so if it is confirmed that this is the new frontier, then I I really do wonder if we are going to be getting a Clementine show eventually. My prediction is if this is the new frontier, we clearly are, right? So that's basically the confirmation here. And so I'll leave it up to you guys. Like, what do you guys think? Do you think this this is Ava? I mean, again, the characters look so similar, like so, so similar. Um, I mean, it's and it's not even just that, really. It's it's the fact that Angela Kang said that our characters are going to be meeting a new group, but she doesn't want to talk about it because it would spoil a lot. It would definitely be really spoilery. And I, I see that. And I'm like, okay, if this was like the Highwaymen, if this was really any other group, right, that's not really necessarily a spoiler. It's nothing that crazy, right? It wouldn't spoil anything. Who cares if the Highwaymen show up? Uh, What are other communities that have showed up out of nowhere? No, they're not going to play a big role. Like if she said that we're going to meet this community, that's going to be, you know, it really wouldn't be that spoilery unless the community is well known. So when you go back to her comments of like, I don't want to spoil it because it would be uh, it would definitely be spoilery, but there will be another uh, group that surprises our group. I think she could be talking about the new frontier. And it just, you know, you're looking at these characters, it just, it kind of makes sense to me. I- I'm looking at them and I'm like, man, they could have literally just, I mean, we'll see. There could be other characters there too, right? Maybe, uh, what's his name? Trip, I think, or something. Tip, Trip. Something like, I have to go back and play those games. It's been a long time, but uh, man, could you imagine if, if they're actually going to be inter- introduced in the new frontier? Honestly, at this point, I kind of believe it a little bit. Like, it's something that you could so easily do. Like, that's a franchise people want adapted onto a or in a tele into a television series. Um, why not? <laughs> right at this point, why not? I think if you if you don't do it, it it's such a missed opportunity. Uh, tagging it in into the final season here, having a little Easter egg there, you know, to tease that future show with the new frontier showing up here. Damn, that that's crazy. Honestly, that is really insane. So I'm actually really curious now. And I want to know your guys' thoughts on this. Do you think this is Ava? Do you think we could be seeing the, the new frontier showing up in the Walking Dead universe? And not even that. Do you think that means that that we are actually going to see Clementine show up one day? Because if that's what that means, if this is the new frontier, that's definitely happening. Clementine's going to be in the Walking Dead universe. She will be in this universe. Which is, um, I mean, could you imagine that spinoff? Holy shit. That spinoff is going to be absolutely big. Like, that's probably going to be their biggest spinoff to date. It might even start to break some of The Walking Dead's numbers, at least earlier on, because people are going to watch that easily. Because everybody remembers the story of Clementine, right? And, and, and Clementine and Lee. Everybody remembers that story. 
So people are going to check this out. People will. And so I really wonder if that's what they're doing. It's such an easy thing to do. And again, you look at the characters here. It's not that crazy. You, you literally have two pieces of uh, pieces of evidence there. You have what Angela Kang said about them meeting a new group that is, she doesn't want to get into it because it's too spoilery. And then you have this character that looks so much like Ava. So I'm just like, you know, anyways, I'm going to leave it here. Post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Again, make sure to be a subscriber if you want more walk Dead content like this. Definitely hope to see you guys on, on some of those Twitch streams as well. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.